Welcome to the Deutsch Math September newsletter. Uh, this clip deals with fifth through eighth grade word problem set. This is part one of four. Uh, in this question one, we're dealing with the concept of percentage of change, either increase or decrease. And the word problem given here is a kid's dad got a speeding ticket one day on the way to drop her off to school. Maybe they were running late. If not paid on time, the fine on a speeding ticket might increase 55% each month. The question then asks is how much would a kid's dad has to pay if the original fee of $100 is increased not once, but twice. All right, let's see how we solve this problem. So let's write a solution here. Let me draw a line. Let's see uh, graphically what's happening here. So once again, I'll divide the paper. Uh, here's our working area, and here's our scratch paper area. So graphically, uh, let's see what we're doing over here and see if we can get a sense of what's happening here. And this is our timeline. Okay. And then uh, I'll leave a formula up here. It's not important, I'll repeat, it's not important that you remember what the formula is, but you get an idea or concept of what's happening here. The idea of a percent change is the changing amount compare or over with the old value before the change take place. Okay, So um, I have students always ask me, oh, how do you remember if it's old or new value you put it down here? Or think about it, when you talk about the height change, you always compare to what you were before, let's say six months before when you were measuring your height the first time. So always change the old standard on the bottom, not the new one that's keep on changing, but the old one you were comparing with. The delta on top signifies the change amount. So change percentage is the change amount over the old value. All right, so let's keep that in mind. Like I said, it's not important you memorize the formula, but get a good idea of what's happening here. Let's take a look at graphically what's happening. So at time zero on the day of ticket, the original ticket is $100. Now, end of the first month, uh, kid's dad, maybe he forgot, he's busy, so he forgot to pay the ticket. And 55% of this 100 uh, is uh, $55. So we'll put it over here. This $55 will get added percentage change, remember? So this is the fifth, same $55 a month gets added onto the original ticket, which is the $100 here. Okay. Now, if you're curious how we figure out the 55% of $100 is $55, let's take it onto the scratch area over here. So we'll write 55% um, of 100. The word off mathematically means multiplication. So we'll translate a little literally um, word for word. 55%, so it's 0 0.55 or 55% in decimal points. Okay. There is another uh, video cape tape clip that address how we change from percent to decimal, decimal to percent. But for now, let's say that's not a big deal for you. So 55% off means multiplying $100. And that would give you $55. For those of you who wants to check the math on your calculator, you can press the pause button and um, run this through your calculator. Okay, so it's $55. So we're back over here. So this $55 was not paid, and the month one gets added on top of the original $100. So end of our first month, we have $155. Okay, let's change into $155. So end of the first month, if the ticket was not paid, we now have a fine of $155. Now what happens to the second month? Second month, the $155, the 55% of this $155, no longer $100, but $155 gets increased again. 
Okay, so this chunk, that's 55% of the 155 dollars gets added over here. Now, if you're curious numerically what 55%, let's see if you can follow along with me on this one, of $155 would be decimal point, 55 times, off means times, $155. Now, I calculated this one ahead of time, so uh, you might want to press the pause button and run this through your calculator. Um, this amount numerically comes to $85.25. Now, some of you might ask, oh, now why is it not $100? Now, remember what I said very early at the beginning. It's always compared to the old value, not the oldest, old value that you started with. So this 55% increase after the first month, it's on the value here. Okay, this value gets increased. Just like over here, it's this value gets increased. This one is the old one. For the second month here, this becomes the old one. Okay, this one gets added on top. So this one is $85.25. Gets added on to our $155. So at end of month number two, here's the total amount that kid's dad has to pay. And if you add those two together, uh, which I did earlier, it's $240.25. And this is the ticket amount that kid's dad is expected to pay. Of course, he won't be happy with this. Okay, no one would. Um, now, let's take a look at mathematically what's really happening. How do we write this? Now, we solved this graphically. We know the answer is $200, $240.25. So let's take a look at mathematically how we write this all down. So let me while I adjust my timer over here. Okay. All right. So mathematically, for the first month, we have ticket price of $100. Right, there was a 55% increase, thus adding, adding here. If it's decreasing, we would subtract 55% of the old value, which we started with, starting value, which is 100. Okay, so we have $100 plus, now we did this calculation earlier, if you remember, this comes to be $55, right? So end of the first month, we owe $155, fine. Now this value become our old value, our standard for the second month. All right, let's change our little pen. Um, for the second month, we started with our old value of $155, which we owe in the first month, and 55% of that number, which is $155, becomes $155 plus, not, we did this earlier, if you remember, it's $85.25. You add it together, now we owe $240.80, oh, pardon me, 25 cents. Okay, so the lesson to learn here is do not wait to pay your bills, right? Okay, now uh, one, more t one more time. So percentage of change is equal to changed amount, we call this delta, over the old value that you start to compare with. It doesn't mean old all the way to the beginning, it means compared to the value that you change before change happened. Okay, all right, have a confident day.